The VTEC Laser 200 was an early 8 bit home computer from 1983, also sold as the Solora Fellow, mainly in Fennoscandia, particularly Finland, the Celtron 200 in Hungary and Italy, the Texit TX8000 in the United Kingdom, and the Dick Smith VZ200 in Australia and New Zealand. The machine ran basic games on cassette such as Hoppy. A version of Frogger, Cosmic Rescue, Scramble, VZ Invaders, Space Invaders, and Moon Patrol. The Laser 210, VZ 200 computer was discontinued in 1985. Topic <laughs> Release. The VZ200 had little impact in the UK where it sold at a similar price to the 16 KB Sinclair Spectrum and in USA where a Timex TS1000 could be bought for $30. It gained a measurable following in other countries where it was supported by the distributor and where Sinclair Research was too disorganized to have any impact. It gained some following in its native Taiwan, in Australia and New Zealand, and in some countries in continental Europe. At its UK launch, Texit claimed that the £98 TX8000 branded version was the cheapest colour home microcomputer on the market. However, this was not enough to ensure its success against the dominant ZX Spectrum and similar machines already on sale. The Dick Smith badged VZ200 was more successful in Australia, where it proved popular as a first computer, an improved version known as the VTEC Laser 310, or the Dick Smith VZ300 featured a full travel keyboard and 8K ROM software based floppy disk controller, was released in 1985 and continued until 1989. Topic: Technical specification. The VZ200 was designed and built by Video Technology (VTEC) in Taiwan. It appears to be inspired by the Sinclair ZX81 as it has the same type of one-key commands but has some extra features, namely, 6 KB of RAM ZX81 had just 1 KB, redefinable characters with the ZX81 you were stuck with those supplied, a bitmapped mode allowing block-by-block -block animation the ZX81 only had character movement and beeper speaker the ZX81 was silent. Silent. Based on a Zilog Z80A CPU driven by a television color burst crystal 3.579545 MHz in PAL, NTSC and Seacom, it offered 16 KB of ROM containing Microsoft Basic Level 2, 8 KB RAM 2 KB for video memory for the PAL model, whilst the NTSC and Seacom models had 6 KB RAM 2 KB for VRAM and eight colors. Text mode had 32 by 16 characters and there were two bitmapped modes, 32 by 64 addressable blocks in eight colors and 32 by 128 addressable blocks in four colors. The total number of pixels was 256 by 192. Because there is only 2 KB of RAM, only one of the video display modes of the MC6847 Video Display Generator chip is available, effectively disabling the bitmapped higher resolution 256 x 192 monocolor mode. There were a few unofficial mods. Developed that increased the VRAM and enabled the 256 times 192 mode that the MC6847 was capable of. A number of programs were written mainly by German user groups that used this particular modification. 
Rather crude sound effects could be achieved by a built sand push, pull piezo speaker via its basic, though one bit synth and sampling sound can be produced through both RAW Z80 assembly as well as libraries within the Z88 development kit. The basic interpreter used Microsoft Level 2 Basic, similar to IBM PC Basic A. Topic: <laughs> Laser 310 VZ300. The Laser 310 was released in 1985 throughout parts of Europe and the United States. It was named and sold as the Dick Smith VZ300 throughout Australia and New Zealand. Also based on a Zilog Z80A CPU with a slightly updated 16K ROM version, it was driven by a television color burst 3.54 MHz crystal. It came with 16K of RAM for programming, along with the same 2K of video RAM as that of the Laser 200. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Peripherals. Within a year of the Laser 310's release, an 80K disk drive unit was released onto the market, of which two could be connected to the computer at the same time. A plug pack cartridge containing the DOS ROM was required to operate the drives. The DOS ROM and diskette drives were backwards compatible with the Laser 200. A number of other VTEC designed plug in peripherals were also available for both the Laser 200 and Laser 310 computers. Among them were joysticks, cassette drive, light pen, printer plotter, 75 board modem, word processor cartridge, and the 16K and 64K extended RAM cartridges. As numbers of users grew, so did the number of homemade kits which were on offer, which included a speech synthesizer, SN6847AN music synthesizer, EEPROM programmer, data logger, 300 board modem, full 101 keyboard, and a RTTY ham radio kit. Topic: <laughs> Software With both of their releases in Germany, England, USA, Italy, Australia, New Zealand and a few other countries, commercially based software titles grew and were distributed throughout various outlets in their home countries. Throughout Germany, Sanyo distributed a number of high-quality software graphics, cassette and disc utilities. The Big W and Dick Smith Electronics store fronts throughout Australia and New Zealand sold many titles, including educational and graphical games, finance programs and various software utility tools, most of which have been found and transferred for the use in the various emulators. Unfortunately there are a number of known software packages that have simply been lost through the age of time. Intertex software download page Andrews VZ wiki download page Topic <inaudible> emulators A number of emulators have since been written for these models of computers MES VZ laser emulation by Jürgen Butchmüller and Dirk Best JEMU by Richard Wilson JVZ200 by James Tamer VZEM Windows and DOS versions by Guy Thomason Pocket VZ for the Pocket PC by Guy Thomason Android VZ for the Android OS by Guy Thomason Download page to a number of them is here equals equals gallery